Hello again and welcome. My name is Safe. I will continue to this project and explain the Modbus project. The middle one and the second one is the model uh, Modbus project. Is we have two type of Modbus. We have Modbus RTU and we have Modbus TCP. Modbus TCP uh, is better, so you can connect directly with your laptop better than Modbus RTU. Modbus RTU need some device that um, complement with, with, with them. So, uh, I will power up the panel so we can uh, get connected to the Arduino Mega. Uh, before I power up, there is something you must know. There is a uh, coil status so this uh, will be uh, read okay uh, sorry this will be right okay this for curl status this also for curl status but this is will be read okay so this digital output uh, read and this digital output write okay uh, if you have uh, some uh, if you are if you are confused you must check the Modbus documentation and we have uh, analog uh, output or holding register this uh, this act like a read okay and for uh, analog output write or holding register write we have this screen so we can show four register in this screen okay we will power up as we promise we power up the power supply and we have F2 and F3 for 5 volt and 12 volt okay uh, now everything is okay I will power up the the AC voltage for relay. Now the power is live. So in this case we can connect with this device by Modscan or Modbus pool or any other uh, software that can you use for Modbus. I prefer the mod scan. Mod scan is uh, easy and widely used software. So uh, before that I have uh, built in this uh, tag table for control unit 2. So I put the IP and the port and unit ID so you can connect with this device. I, I connect the A1 cable directly to my PC so I must Put the Ethernet the different IP. Okay, I will increase this IP with one number. So it's end with eight. I will put nine. Okay. So now I have connection with this device. You can ping on this. You can ping to check if there if there any connection or not. Eight. Okay, there are four replay from our Modbus project, so we are good. Now we have register here. Two type of register: digital output and analog output. Or we can say coil register or holding register. In coil register we will read and write and in holding register we will read and write. So I will go to mode scan. I will put this stuff together so you can check. So first of all I will connect to this IP. I will set before in the code. I also will explain the code. Okay, now click connect. 
there is pause and response or there is query and response you can check the traffic okay there is query and response and there is no error so now we have connection with the Arduino okay this register beginning from zero but in mode scan we have beginning from one so there is one number will be different if I write here seven it mean eight here so I will beginning from eight okay uh, the type of this register is coil status so I will choose coil status the unit ID is one okay the length of this register is six so I just need need this register if you are professional you can check the traffic or if you are if you have basic information you can continue us with this screen so in this case I have one and one and one this one comes from normally close I will go back to the screen so I have normally close normally close normally close this normally close show me the one I will click this button so you can check this register okay this register go to one okay when I put when I click the another one this one convert to zero when I uh, push this one okay if you don't know about control you must read about the contact and read about the normally open and normally close push button so the normally open will be open always until some force come to change it and normally close is reversed of normally open so that's it we have coil status we just read the coil status okay the first tag table the second tag table for coil status but we will write okay so here uh, it's it's uh, say 14 we must beginning from 15 because of difference you know so the length will be 4 register okay this register will be effect on relay relay will illuminate the uh, four indicator okay I will double click on zero I will choose on okay this will uh, power up the uh, first indicator I lose connection you know this is Arduino not a real RTU I will connect okay I will send another uh, digital uh, output so the second one also illuminate if you can see this light uh, another register on this is I think about uh, something wrong it's happened so I will connect again okay. okay no problem we will check the code again So this is about the digital. We can check the analog holding register. The analog, we go to the uh, tag table. We have analog read, 
from three analog input at the end of this panel uh, from zero so we must begin from one the length is uh, three okay now because of the scaling of uh, the program we read 1023 maybe you can change the scale and the reading would uh, will be different so I will change this analog input this potentiometer and you can check this this is the first one this is the second one register and this is the third one so you can we can read the holding register okay and we can write on the holding register uh, about the write on holding register we have four register that uh, I, I, I write here uh, there is no control panel this software this software will send to the software so uh, the second software will appear this data on the screen on the LCD so, so there is no, no uh, such things that can change some servo or something this is just the LCD will, will show the data so I will uh, request for the right comment command uh, address 6 will be 7 and 4000 will be holding register and uh, the number of request is or the number of uh, comment will be 4 okay. 7, 8, 9, 10 so uh, I, I, I don't think you can read this screen okay I will hold or pause the, the video and change my camera position okay I think it's good so you read 6 and R7 and R8 and R9 I will uh, give some data here 300 for this value you see Let's show the 300 and second one another data okay and another one okay you can check here this is holding register right comment comment so <coughs> value like 1000 okay that's it here with the student must know about the uh, whole, uh, mod bus so we can use this device with any software in the next video I will explain the factory IO how you can use this device with factory IO <laughs> another suggestion I hope you you never use the IC square C uh, screen with this project because this will interrupt your mod bus so use the parallel uh, screen that's better okay thank you